Why is growth monitoring so important? And what causes children not to grow well? Many people wonder why growth monitoring is such a powerful tool. Well, in many countries, growth monitoring allows for a subtle reallocation of the family's resources to support a child who's not growing well. Even in families who are struggling with very few resources, when their child is identified as being underweight for age, the family will often manage to subtly redistribute their income to support that child's nutrition. Secondly, if there are sources of external aid available to a community, growth monitoring and identifying children who are not growing well will allow for targeted distribution of that aid toward the children who need it most. And finally, growth monitoring serves as a form of education for the community. It makes parents and caregivers aware of the importance of adequate nutrition in order for children to grow to reach their full potential. When a child is not growing well, when they're not tracking steadily along their growth curve, or when their growth trajectory falls outside of the healthy range. The reasons for that usually fall into two broad categories. The first category is physiological factors. Basically, something is physically wrong with a child's body such that they can't take in or absorb the nutrients in their food. For example, my middle child has celiac disease. That's a disorder where the child's gut loses the ability to absorb the nutrients in his food. So when my son was three years old, we began to notice that he wasn't gaining any weight from one doctor's visit to the next. And later that year, we noticed that his height was also plateauing, so he was falling off his growth curve. After he was diagnosed, we started him on a special gluten-free diet that allowed his gut to heal, and now his growth is back on steady track but it's much less common for physiological factors to be the underlying cause when a child is not growing well. It's much more common for environmental factors to be the underlying cause when a child is not growing well. And around the world, the most common environmental factor affecting children's growth is malnutrition due to poverty. So when we speak about environmental causes of poor growth, we mean that something is wrong with the environment in which the child is growing. For example, there's not enough money for food or the child isn't being cared for properly and this is causing the child to fall off his growth curves. Correcting these environmental factors can be challenging and often involves coordinated efforts, including things like empowering families and communities with health education, protecting and supporting mothers who care for young children, and advocating for increased access to resources for families with young children. South Africa's children are the future leaders of the country, so investing in their health and their growth is investing in a better future for all South Africans.